are painting tonight the 57 Mercedes SL. Tonight is the night. She is, she's all masked up. A lot of masking. To mask every nook, every cranny, all of it, whether you believe it or not, there's a good six to seven hours here. Some people might mask it quicker, and they don't worry about the overspray going places, but we do. You gotta watch out for dust and getting all over the engine. You don't know where shit's gonna come out from. So we spend the time and mask it, because you're either gonna spend the time and mask it properly, or you're gonna spend the time afterwards trying to clean off the overspray. And we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna hit this bad girl. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna do it with our custom made paint that we have made. I can't really give you a name, because I, I can't give you a name. It hasn't got a name, but, um, that's it. It is a 50s color. It's a 1950s color we're putting on here that then we tinted and played with a bit to get exactly what the owner wanted. So I'll come back here in a couple minutes when we're starting to spray the base and you'll get to see how she's going to look. Again, 1950 Mercedes. Pretty cool, going. Gotta love them doors that just flip right up, eh? Okay, guys, here we go. Time to paint the little going.
describe. It looks kind of green in the uh, in the filming here, but this is the first coat of base too. We're going to give it three. So right now the first coat still like the gray coming through. But depending on the lighting, this car goes from green to blue. I say this was a custom, this was a custom made color. It started out, I'm not like that, I can't tell you what it was, but it, it started out as a, um, as a 1950s color that we had to custom mix a little bit to get kind of what the owner was after. Here. No metallic, no pearl in it, just a straight solid color. Something like this would get three coats of base. And then um, we are what's sending a fall of things, so we'll give it, we'll give it four coats of clear. And you guys remember, I did do a video, one of my past videos, you saw the hood and the doors and all that in there, they were all done. We did have to bring one door back, right here, as you see, because it ended up behind a little, a little glitch in the corner, so I have to just saw George to get this frame right now and we'll clear that again. Mercedes, um, like I said, 300 SL going, and uh, it is a reproduction body, but it is, it, this was one of, apparently there was only 400 molds made off the original Mercedes, and this is one of the 400 molds that is still surviving today, and it is documented, and I know some of you are going to say, like, big deal, it's fiberglass, but it's one of the first ones that's documented, so that makes it kind of rare. It's got a custom-made chassis, it's got a modern Chevy engine, it's got AC, it's got heat, it's got, you know, one-off custom wheels built, you know, it's got the Charmax 6-speed in it, it's got custom rear end, you'd have to go back at the list and look at it all, but it's, um, it's quite the car. It's going to be quite the car, too. It's absolutely stunning. It is using all the original Mercedes headlights, grill, bumpers, door handles, um, louvers inside, all the glass, everything is Mercedes from 57, so it's got all the parts on it, dash, everything, so I mean, it's got a lot of original Mercedes parts on it. It's going to be that car that, you know, you can actually take out and drive and enjoy, because normally you wouldn't see someone want to drive a car like this on the street because they're worth millions. With this car, you can go and have fun with it. These even has the original luggage. From Mercedes, these cars have a luggage package that used to sit in the back area. He has all that luggage to put in the car, original, not reproduction, which is quite unique.
different than the first coat that you saw. Um, I'm not going to stand here for all three coats. I'm not going to stand here for the whole second coat. So, like I say, we always give it three coats of base. I'm going to try and roll it off the front here to uh, actually turn a second here. I'm going to try and get a picture.
Now I'm not going to stand here for long while he's clearing, just because I want to get out of his way. I don't want to create any dust or anything around, because you definitely don't want it in here. So you can see he's got his paper set up on the wall, he's just testing his spray pattern, playing with the pressure, getting everything where he likes it.
crystal to clear. Beautiful. Going on here with the door. Look at that. Just laying down nice and flat. Looks absolutely spotless. Now I'm going to get the hell out of here. And we're going to come back and we're going to show you the car when it's all done being painted. Um, let's say I don't like being in here with him. I don't want to stir up any dust, create any problems for him. So that's it. That's all you get for now. I hope you guys like that. And uh, well, we'll be back soon. Let's get out. guys we've got the clear all on it check it out I like to say in the booth here I don't know how it's looking it's weird because I film and through the screen here it looks like one color then when I watch it, actually on the YouTube video back it looks like a different color in the more light that you get this car, it almost like the brighter the lights, and of course you can see there's a lot of lights on in this booth, it goes to this real light minty green, but when you actually get it out in the natural light, it's a blue, it's like a turquoise, I guess to explain it. So it kind of flip flops, which is kind of cool. So I don't know what y'all think of this color for this little uh, Mercedes, but trust me, when it's all done, it is gonna pop like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to get out of here now, a bit stinky, let her cool down, and next time you see this video, what well, I'm going to add to this video, of course, we'll get her all unmasked. But that's a wrap. It's another late night. Away we go. Okay, guys, I got her all unmasked. Here we are the next day. I unmasked her, threw the wheels and tires on, got to get her off the stands. But I'm going to leave her sit up here for now. Um, she's got to dry up. So she isn't really coming out of here. But there she is in her glory. One 1957 Mercedes, all looking good. You get a look at the engine now in there. No mileage, everything is brand new. Might be a little dusty, don't, don't let that fool you. get her all back together now next week we'll get the dash in it we'll get the dash all put back in everything tidied up under there that's going to be a chore I know it don't look like it but probably going to spend a good half a day or more just on the dash trying to get all that organized again um, but we'll get the dash in and uh, then from there she's going to go and uh, this this gentleman's taking it to the next limit so we're going to get a wet sand and polish but honestly this is probably one of them that it's it's you know it it should be a fairly shouldn't be too bad because it's a it, it laid down really nice we put real good clear on this one we put the expensive clear on it so uh, again it's matrix paint custom mix so we'll get our wet sanded and polished and, uh, yeah but there's no runs anywhere no dust nibs no nothing like this one just turned out well I shouldn't say no dust nibs there's probably one somewhere I'm sure but it just turned out gorgeous. But that's what the big boys do, they wet sand and polish and they put all the new chrome on and then they got a card, it's just like a mirror. We got Derek at Custom Creations, he's going to be doing the upholstery. Look him up, local boy, just down the road for me. Okay, well I'm going to take off for now, that's uh, I got some other stuff I got to do at the shop, but there you are.